Are you scared to die? Not really. My dad died when I was nine, and um, everybody would say, he's in a better place. So I was always ready to die. So. Hi. Hi, I'm Pratika. I'm Upasna. I'm her mother. I'm Phoebe. I'm nine years old. I'm Erin. I'm Phoebe's mom. You're 37 years old. Whoa. <laughs> Do you know why you're here? No. We're discussing what happens after you die. What comes after death? Like, how do we interpret uh, life after death from Hindu's perspective? Oh, okay. How do you feel about talking about death? Does it scare you or...? A bit sad, a bit scary. Why? It makes me scared or sad because, like, a family member that dies, it's just really sad to see them go. Yeah, that is scary. Does it hurt when someone dies? I told you what happened when Papa died, right? Yeah. Like, a tear came to his eye because it's probably really sad not to see us anymore, but kind of happy because, like, to see his parents. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. What do you think happens after we die? Reincarnation. When someone dies, their soul gets sucked out. And then you just go in, like, this elevator thing. It's more of a flying thing to heaven usually don't get to go back unless you're like a really amazing person. You don't get to come back from heaven unless you're a super amazing person? Yes. Have you come back before? Yes. Oh. What's one of your past lives? My parents left me alone when I was six, home alone. These two men broke in with axes and started breaking into my house and they killed me. And I believe they stole my mom's jewelry at the time. Pretty intense. In order to have that life coming back from heaven, we usually perform some rituals. Is it the one where you have the body and you like put fire on it? And yes, you burn the body? yes, we do the cremation because we feel that body has nothing to do with the soul. That makes the soul not to wander and they will be free to come back in the form of anything. I mean, it could be a human or it could be an animal. Oh. So we, we believe in those things like, you know, sometimes someone died and the next time someone comes in the family, we say that it's a soul of that person. He's talking just like his uh, grandfather made you think that, oh, it is true like that you know, the same has soul has come. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> what I think when people die is like, I thought they'd just go straight to heaven. And like, you can see all your old family members, like your great grandparents. I really mean people who did like bad things, who sit a lot or go to hell. Like what kind of sins? Didn't obey the commandments like a lot, even when they're like really old. <laughs> Sometimes we don't obey the commandments, like, right? We don't. You guys use God's name in vain or something like that. So do you think we're gonna go to hell? I, I wouldn't think you guys won't go to hell. I would hope. What do you think happens after you die? Nothing happens. Like That's you're just okay. in a period of nothingness until Jesus comes. What do you believe? Probably something similar to reincarnation where I'm not, I don't necessarily think that me as this person is going to go be in another thing and like remember this, this body and this experience, but like that energy has got to go somewhere. You know, so maybe it goes back into the earth. Yeah. Am I allowed to change my mind about what I believe? Definitely. I mean, I feel like it's very important for people to have their own beliefs. If you change your perception, I will be okay with that. Yes. You are a free bird from my side, <laughs> for sure. It's really scary to think about dying because nobody really knows what happens next. It's all just like beliefs. For sure. It wasn't until I was in high school when someone told me that there may not be a God. And I w had never heard that before, and I couldn't believe it. I couldn't even think that that would be possible. If people start saying like, oh, there's no God, and then I'm like, oh, I'll just ignore these people. Well, you don't have to ignore it. You could hear what they have to say, but that I doesn't... I ignore what they have to say, but I mean, like, I can ignore, like, what they mean. Yeah, you could choose what you want to believe. Yeah. And you'll learn more as you get older and go to school. Yeah. Mama, are you afraid to die? I was not at all afraid to die before giving birth to my children. 
you know you would be alone or you would need my support or your uh, your papa would need you you know my support because i know he cannot do anything on his own <laughs> are you scared to die not really my dad died when i was nine and um everybody would say he's in a better place so i was always ready to die so <laughs> Obviously not that ready if I'm still here. Does the thought of dying scare you? I'm not afraid to die. Why not? Because I, I feel like this is kind of the life that we're given and so we're just gonna make the most of it while we're here, right? And if I live every day being afraid of it, then maybe I won't, I won't live and enjoy my life. I like what you said because death it's gonna come, and everybody knows it's gonna come. Everything can die. Well, every living thing can die. Every living thing. Like, can. that table can't die. Well, the tree that suffered to make that table die. R.I.P. tree. <laughs> Is there anything special that you wanna do before you die? I wanted to make sure that I do those Katie rides. Right. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm dying. So let's do it. <laughs> what do you want to do before you die? I just want to have a good life. Not like take any time for granted. It'd be really cool to see my kids, to get married, and to graduate. Are there certain things that you want to accomplish before you die? I want to meet my dad in the future. Mm. Also, start an orphanage. That's nice. How was that? A little emotional, because I haven't really dig deep into this. I just feel like he's following like our belief system maybe too much. <laughs> like, I think he needs to get some outside um, influences in there, maybe hear some different things. Okay. Do you feel better talking about death? Yeah. Why do you feel more comfortable? Because I'm talking to my mom. My mom is my happy place. That's one of the reasons why I don't want her to die. My mom's my happy place, too. Aw, sweet! Can't say the same about my mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>